going on, everybody? It is December 4th. It's 1 o'clock. Uh, last day of rifle was yesterday in West Virginia. Couldn't capitalize on anything there. Just didn't really see anything. But um, set up in the city tonight. Had a good wind. Um, just put a camera up here the other day, and uh, I've already got a couple nice bucks. I'm after daytime pictures, too. Couldn't get in here this morning. They were here at 7.30. I'm hoping they come back through. Um, they went around this hillside. So the doe walking in. But other than that, somehow lost my hat somewhere. But whatever. Also, good thing. Practice before you come out. <laughs> CBE hybrid engaged, okay? And this is the third time that the bolts were loose. My entire sight was cockeyed like this. When I drew back, my peep wouldn't even align with the housing. Three times now. I've tightened those bolts as tight as I can possibly get them, and they just keep they just keep coming out. I'm going to switch back over to my Sword Punisher Pro tonight. That's a very simple setup. Just my dovetail and a sight attaches to that. There's none of this. I'm over it. I'm done. Hopefully we can get on something. It's been a rough season. It's been a rough season. So uh, I know my old lady can see it. I'm getting frustrated about it, but uh, good thing city's another two months. So got my heated vest on tonight by Tide Wee. Two batteries. It's not that cold out today though, so. But just in case. <laughs> So we're back home, um, camera died, but um, yeah, got the dough this morning, or about one o'clock. Didn't see a buck, my camera went off about half hour after I left, of course it's too dark out, but um, a buck showed up. So we're gonna get back at it after in the morning and uh, hopefully we can go back to back. But uh, one tag filled, we're in a <laughs> step in the right direction. Well, it's 5.30 and we're getting back at it. A little later than I wanted to be getting out here. I got about a 15 minute drive to get out here. That buck showed up a couple times last night. Um, I actually have a big 10 point directly behind my house that's uh, been showing up. So, probably hunt city this morning. And then later this evening, go after that 10. Uh, he came in right at uh, right about 5.15. So it's definitely right at last shooting. But we'll see what happens. I had to adjust all my errors. I shot three of them yesterday. Uh, I killed that doe with one and then the fox. And then the second, I had to shoot the fox twice actually. 
first time I missed. The second time he was trying to eat my the doe tail. So that's what I seen when I got over there. But uh, yeah, if I don't see a buck, I'm gonna punch another doe tag. Uh, city limits, urban hunt, you get uh, four tags all together. And two of them can be antlered and two cannot. So I don't have any meat in the freezer right now. It's been a slow start of the season. So I'm gonna go ahead and do just that if she comes about. And if she comes early, I'll wait a little bit for a buck. That's the plan. So we'll see what happens. I have to climb a giant hill to get up here. It's exactly what I wanted to do at six o'clock in the morning. So we got some more meat in the freezer. Two deer, two days. Get the old lady some coffee and myself some coffee and uh, we're gonna get after it again after this 10 point. Um, camera's been pretty dry. Been a quiet morning everywhere. So uh, things are looking up. It's been rough. It's been a rough season. I haven't shot a buck. But uh, <laughs> These two do mean a lot to me. What's up, Antigas? Yeah, I have a pickup for uh, Gerald. We're working on it. You can go. All right. We're working on it. outside it doesn't know what it wants to do wind is very minimal um, I'm in a pretty good tree I don't know if I like it too much but I got a nice I think it's 30 yards over here and a good 25 yards over here and they both come out of a thicket so uh, definitely have to catch them walking through the thicket draw back and get ready to shoot because it opens up wide um, You'll see here.
fucking 